So it's just, it's, it's really neat because they, they know their favorite colors. Josh loves um, Ohio State colors. His mother is not a fan of Ohio State colors. But Wendy had to buy one of Josh's bags, and um, he was very proud that um, his mother purchased one of his bags. So um, at the craft show Saturday, it was funny because we sold a small, a medium, and large, and they all knew each other. All the girls that, that bought them, uh, one of the girls came back and said, do you have another small bag? No, that's the only one we had, that's the only one we made. And the next thing you know, they're trying to bicker and make a deal and, and you know, try to work things out. And uh, so we need to get busy on uh, sewing. We have uh, Betty Snyder uh, has volunteered to come in and do some sewing for us. Um, we've talked to some 4-H groups about possibly doing some sewing also. But that's our biggest um, uh, hurdle that we need to overcome right now. We have all this. All these painted sheets stacked up, and no one to sew them and put them together. So if oh, anybody, we do need bed sheets. If anybody has bed sheets, they're, they're, they they don't want, or or they're just maybe a little raggy. Uh, bring them on out, and the higher thread count, the better. Not we will we will take anything, but uh, if you have any to donate, give me a call. And it's just so neat to see that a simple bed sheet, a cotton sheet ends up becoming something that looks like this, that, that they've chosen the colors, and staff has a lot to do with it too. They lay, they do the layout, the cutout, and putting it together. But the clients are so thrilled to know that it was their color choices that, that made that final piece. So it's, it's really, really neat. One of the big projects that our art uh, studio clients would like to do is paint one of our buses. And we're having a really hard time convincing our superintendent to let us do that. But um, the last to make a bus out of a sheet. <laughs> the last few years, we have been trading off the old yellow buses for smaller paratransit vehicles uh, for our adults. Um, you all are adults. You would know what it would feel like to ride a yellow school bus to work every day. Our adults prefer to ride with their transit vehicles, more like you or I would. Um, so we are in the process of purchasing some new air transit vehicles, and we'll be trading in some of our yellow buses. And uh, I just always thought it'd be really, really cool to have a cool bus instead of a school bus. <laughs> and paint it all up graffiti and everything, but we're having a hard time talking to <laughs> But anyway. No pressure we're, there. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a lot of fun. Um, last December, Jane Davenport, an area business uh, woman in uh, our community, approached me about donating her basket business uh, to Angeline. Her granddaughter attended years ago. I think her granddaughter is 17 now. And uh, she attended preschool for speech therapy. And uh, Jane was so very um, thankful and grateful for the services that Angeline provided uh, to her granddaughter that uh, she and uh, her husband were going to be moving to Florida. And uh, she was going to be selling her businesses and closing up shop and wanted to donate her basket inventory to us. And we graciously accepted that. Uh, inventory. We did not uh, take over the business through the name or anything like that, but we did accept the inventory. We are now in a position where we are purchasing inventory to build baskets um, of our own also. Um, typically what we have uh, been uh, doing is making baskets to order. Say you have a, uh, your mother's going to be 60 next Wednesday, um, you want a bath and body or spa basket, and her favorite color is purple, and you want to spend $35 or $40. That gives us a, a area to work with, and then we can uh, build from there and hopefully turn out a basket that is uh, to your liking. Um, our Ohio State baskets are really popular. Um, we had a couple of these. The landfill had a, an awards banquet last Saturday at Moreno's in Cary and uh, they had ordered a couple of these for their staff. Um, 
we have Easter baskets and the, the Saturday of the craft show, we kept hearing you're not charging enough, not charging enough. But they weren't really selling either. So, you know, a lot of people had already purchased their Easter stuff. Um, and um, so anyway, these are available at Angeline. We also have baskets at Kaler Drug and at Richardson's Flowers. And um, you can call, you can order, you can email. Um, stop out, visit the basket uh, store and also the art studio. And visit our clients at the same time because they're we're very fortunate right now to be working. We have uh, General Electric uh, light bulbs back from Bucyrus. We're helping out um, their facility over there because they have so much work right now. Uh, we had a couple trailer loads that I believe ended up in South America somewhere. So we're fortunate to have that work going right now. And um, right now our baskets start about $10 and we've done $55, $60 baskets also. So they're very, very reasonably, reasonably priced. Okay? Do they have any questions? It's a garage. I mean, <laughs> we converted a we converted a maintenance shed sort of overhead door garage area into an art studio, and uh, we converted basically a closet in the back into a basket business. So, uh, I think at some point our vision would be to have some downtown presence, and we would like to have not only storefront and retail, but we would like to relocate our artists so that it would be part of the experience. It would be both a business and a develop, a, an awareness opportunity so that folks could see where their bags, pop holders, you know, gift baskets, whatever, uh, they, they can meet some artists and uh, we'll, we'll have the full experience. So um, that, we'd love to, love to get to that point. Robbie, you've been there. You know what it's like. We moved our, this is how bad it is. We moved our janitor to a shed in the parking lot. I just recycling things with your clients, whatever. It's amazing what I go out to Angeline quite a bit, and uh, they wouldn't say this, but if you ever get an opportunity to go there, go. Because it's tough to leave because they just kind of grab hold of you and it's, you know, it's pretty amazing. The job Not the staff, there. though, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> we have a no grabbing Robbie policy. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't say it, but it's a pretty amazing place. And you all are welcome to come anytime. Um, just come on out and we'll give you a tour of the art studio and the baskets. And, and if you just want to come out and just, um, just for a tour, that's fine. If you'd like to come out and spend a little time, um, you know, we'll, we'll take care of you. Uh, if you. If anybody or if you know of anybody that are sewers that would like to volunteer a couple hours a week, um, we can put you to work out there. And uh, we've got a sewing machine that is really a good one. It goes through all the canvas and all that good stuff. And we just need somebody to man the sewing machine and do a little sewing. Nothing difficult. If you're a member of a club or a small group and you're looking for a place to have a meeting, we'd be glad to, to host your meeting and then give you a tour uh, of the facility as part of the program. So however you'd like it. We're, you know, we're a community program supported by community members. So you're always welcome.